What's going on guys? Welcome to Titan Town where today I will be projecting the Titans final 53 man roster and this will include players who I believe are likely to get cut from other rosters and at the end of this video I want you to comment down below let me think let me know what you thought of my list what changes would you have made what players would you have been targeted what players do you think we should have kept or should have let go so let's go ahead and jump right into this be sure to leave a like on the video if you like the content and subscribe if you like the content because there will be more great content coming out in the future so let's go ahead and jump right into this to start out with the quarterbacks no surprise here, we have Marcus Mariota as our starter. We're only going to keep two. Blaine Gabbert will be our second string quarterback, which is very refreshing after having Matt Castle in that position for the last couple of years. Moving on to the running back position, we have Derrick Henry as running back 1A, Deion Lewis as running back 1B, and I'm leaving the third position kind of open-ended here where, where it will either be David Flewellen, Amir Abdullah, or Mike Gesick Gillisley. I will always want to call him Gesicki, but Gillisley. So, uh, let, comment, let me know which one of these guys would you prefer. And the cheaper option would be to keep David Flew Ellen. He seems to be pretty productive here in the preseason for what we're asking him to do. My personal preference, I would prefer Amir Abdullah. We know that he can play at a starting level, uh, as a starting level running back in the NFL. He has averaged four, around that four, four yards per carry mark in the past. We know he can catch footballs. Uh, he fits this zone uh, blocking scheme that we're going to be doing with these stretch run plays. We've seen him do that. I think the last time we played him, he broke off a 16 or an 18-yard run off a stretch play like we ran a lot in that first preseason game. So that would be my personal preference. Moving on to the wide receiver corps, we have Corey Davis, Rashard Matthews, Taewon Taylor, Nick Williams, Tajay Sharp, and for this last position, I'm going to go ahead and go with Deontay Burnett because we have seen in practice he is getting first team reps in the practices, although he's not getting to getting to play till very late in the preseason games. However, Jordan BC has been getting a lot of buzz early on. Uh, Darius Jennings has uh, been showing off every once in a while in practice, and we haven't got to see gotten to see Michael Caponero yet either, but. As of right now, I'm going to go ahead and say Deontay Burnett and that we keep six. Moving on to the tight end position, of course, Delaney Walker is going to be our number one tight end. Johnny Smith will be number two, and we'll only keep three, and we'll have Luke Stalker at number three tight end and also as our starting fullback. Very good blocker. He does drop a few passes that he should be able to catch, but we're going to keep him for his inline blocking skills. Moving on to the offensive line, we're going to keep nine offensive linemen. Of course, we're going to have uh, Taylor Lewan and Jack Conklin as our starters, Ben Jones as a center, Quentin Spain and Josh Klein as our guards. Then our backup positions will consist of Dennis Kelly, Kevin Pampil, Xavier Sulafilo, and Corey Levin, which that gives us nine offensive linemen on our roster, and that does equal up to 25 players overall on our offense. If any of these guys had to go, I would say it's Xavier Sulafilo. He has been committing some stupid penalties in our preseason games. And Corey Levin, I would say, has outplayed him and Kevin Pampil both here in the preseason. He really fits his own blocking scheme that we're running. He's really stepped his game up and has been playing very aggressive. Moving on to the defensive side of the ball, we'll start with the defensive line. Defensive line, we're going to have Jarrell Casey, Benny, Benny Logan, Daquan Jones, Austin Johnson, Julius Wormsley, or Worms, and David King, which gives us six defensive linemen. I feel like this is a very good group of guys to have right here. Worms has made some plays throughout the preseason. David King is a guy that we traded for last season, gave up a seventh round pick for. We extended him for another year on his contract after getting him. Very cheap guy. John Robinson does seem to like him. Benny Logan is going to be that big guy that we're going to stick in the middle to eat up space and really smash down on the run game. Austin Johnson has also been making plays here in the preseason, and we all know what Jarrell Casey can do. Moving on to the outside linebacker or the edge rusher position, we're going to have five of these guys with Derek Morgan, Brian Arakpo, Harold Landry, Sharif Finch, and Aaron Wallace. Now, Derek Morgan and Brian Arakpo are veteran guys. They're going to offer veteran leadership, and they should be our starters at least as long as they are healthy. Harold Landry is making a very strong case for getting this guy on the field throughout the preseason. We picked him up in the second round. 
He had first round talent, but he has been really showing off with Brian Arakpo's sideline with the injury throughout the preseason. Uh, he drew a holding call, which uh, took a touchdown off the board for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He had a strip sack in the game against the Green Bay Packers, so he is making it very hard to keep him off the field. Sharif Finch has been showing out in the preseason. Although his numbers or his stats do not necessarily jump right off the chart at you, he has been very disruptive and has been passing the eye test with flying colors. Aaron Wallace is a guy who's been around for a few years, and he is a guy who can also step in and play that inside linebacker position if you will, if you have to have him there. He's got one of those unique skill sets where he can play either or, and that versatility is really what helps him stick on this roster. At the inside linebacker position, we're going to have four guys with Wesley Woodyard as our starter. Jayon Brown starting beside him. I'm projecting to start the season because of um, Rashawn Evans being out with injury and Will Compton really not showing us that much throughout the preseason. I've seen a lot of people even say that Will Compton just needs to stick to special teams and be a special teams player, kind of like what Darian Bates has been for us, which, spoiler alert, Darian Bates did not make this roster. Rashawn Evans could come back and steal that starting spot from Jayon Brown, but Jayon Brown has looked like Roquan Smith in college throughout this preseason. He's been everywhere doing everything. He did mess up in the Green Bay game, uh, giving up a touchdown, but he come back and had six tackles in that game. I think he, I believe he had five or six in the Tampa Bay game, and he's just been everywhere in coverage. He's been stopping the run. He's been rushing the quarterback. He had a sack against Tampa Bay, so Jayon Brown has been very fun to watch for me. Wesley Woodyard, of course, has been out with injury as well, so Wesley Woodyard should come back and step into that starting row automatically. At cornerback, we're going to keep five of these guys. Adoree Jackson at number one, Malcolm Butler, Logan Ryan is our slot man, LaShawn Sims, and Brashard Breland, someone who is still on the open market. And I know this is a long shot because if the team was interested in him, they would have already reached out. They would have already tried to bring him in and get him under a contract, but that has not been the case. So I'm going to say Brashard Breland, our secondary, especially our depth has just been awful in the secondary. We're going to need some better secondary players because Adoree Jackson, Malcolm Butler, and LaShawn Sims and Logan Ryan, they can't be on the field for 100% of the plays. These guys are going to have to get breather, breathers and take a few plays off unless or there or else they're just going to be gassed, especially if Adoree Jackson is contributing on special teams as well. So hopefully we can get Brashard Breland in, get him under a contract, and that will give us a very, very great, unique depth in the secondary. Moving on to the safety position, there is a guy on here who is currently on IR, and that's because I made this list several days ago. It's just been a few days before I've been able to get time to actually record this video on the secondary. At safety, of course, we're going to have Kevin Byard and Kenny Vaccaro. We're going to have Kendrick Lewis, who's been showing off throughout the preseason. He's made some nice plays uh, in our secondary in the depth position, which is uh, very rare for us to find. Uh, he did get hurt. Hopefully, it's not too serious. Dane Cruikshank. He is coming back from injury. He's then practicing again, so I believe he's going to make the roster as a depth player. I think he can uh, eventually develop into something very special. He is a key contributor on special teams for us. Number five, we have Kalen Reed. I put him here at safety because that's where I would move him after watching him play at cornerback against Green Bay and against um, uh, Tampa. Well, he didn't play against Tampa Bay, but after watching that Green Bay game, I would move him to safety for sure. But he is on IR right now. So comment and let me know who do you think we should stick in that sixth, uh, sixth cornerback spot or that fifth safety spot. Or if you think we should add someone on the defensive line or in the linebacker's position. Comment and let me know. Uh, interested in what you have there. And that does give us 25 players on the defensive side of the ball. So that puts us at 50 players overall. Moving on to special teams. We have Brett Kern as our punter. We have Ryan Suckup as our kicker. And we have Bo Brinkley as our long snapper. So that gives us our four special teams players. The rest of the guys who are already on the active roster on offense or defense can fill in the rest of the spots on special teams. Now our practice squad, a Crumb Wadley, the running back, he, is, he has shown he can catch the football. He has shown he can return on special teams. But I do think he needs a year or two to develop as a pure running back in the NFL. Josh Carraway, this is his last year of eligibility for the practice squad. Fastball coming off the edge, kind of like a Harold Landry. Poor man, Harold Landry. He just doesn't have that length that Harold Landry has, but he can develop into something special in an edge rusher. I believe he just really needs to 
get acclimated to the speed of the NFL more so. Rico Gafford, the cornerback, uh, this guy, his athleticism has flashed, but there has been plays where he kind of looks a little bit lost out there, so he could develop into a solid death player in the NFL. Robert Splane, the inside linebacker, he has been making plays throughout this preseason game. Young guy, I think he could develop into a quality depth player, maybe even a low-end starter in the NFL, so I think you should keep him around. Then we got a couple of wide receivers in Devin Ross, Cameron Batson, and Jordan Vesey. Those guys, uh, they have, there's a lot of buzz coming from them coming out of training camp and rookie mini camp. Uh, some of them, such as Cameron Batson, has proved that he can be effective on special teams as well catch those screen passes. It's like It looks like something that's going to be very important to our offense is those screen passes. Next, we have Anthony Frisker, uh, the tight end. He has caught some passes for us in the preseason. Uh, we've heard Jim White talk about him and brag about him a little bit after the practices. Luke Falk, uh, quarterback, uh, he's been pretty bad in this preseason. There is no way around that. You just don't see any arm strength from him. Sometimes his accuracy is off. Uh, but he, he was very productive in college. Uh, I think he could develop into a quality second-string quarterback in the NFL. And then last but not least, Matt Dickerson, who is an undrafted free agent out of UCLA, who has actually made some plays for us in the preseason as well. He had a sack in the Green Bay game, I believe, or it might have been just a tackle for a loss against the running back. I can't remember off the top of my head. But he did, look, he did show off his power. He did show off uh, eating up space. So I believe he could develop into someone who could potentially take the spot of somebody like David King or Julius Worms in the future, another young guy. A few guys who were notable cuts that did not make this roster are Darren Bates, Brady and Trawick, who were some guys we signed last year to be core special teams players. Michael Campanero and Darius Jennings, a couple of wide receivers. I touched on them a little bit earlier, but those are some guys who we uh, especially Michael Caponero is a guy we expected to make the roster when we first signed him. Darius Jennings has been making buzz here in the practice during the offseason. Uh, but he just, given his age, I decided to go with the younger, the younger guy. And Demontre Hurst, who has just been absolutely awful throughout the preseason. Just letting his guys run wide open, not making any plays on the football. It's just looked bad. So, guys. Hope you enjoyed my list. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you like the content. Subscribe for more great content coming in the future. Leave me a comment. Let me know what changes you would have made. Because I'm also interested in seeing what, what you guys have to say about it. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless and tighten up.